All right. Hello, everyone, and for the third and final time, welcome to Reveal. It's going to be the final time because this is the final chapter of the game, Chapter 5, the chapter that I wasn't allowed to upload until the game had been released. Well, if you're watching this video, that means the game has now been released. And again, the links and the details are down below in the description if you do want to check this out for yourselves. If not, though, and you want to keep watching on, well, I hope you enjoy it. It seems like in this chapter, we're going to be uncovering secrets and twists, and I'm very curious as to how this story is going to end. Here we go. This is the ending to Reveal. And again, we're waking up in the bedroom by the looks of it. What's that in the background? An alarm? A siren? Something like that. How are you feeling, Walter? No comments this time? Hmm. <laughs> Back in our house? Apparently. Or am I finally awake? Alright. Yeah, there must be a siren outside. Is that a wall? <laughs> okay, what's going on here? <laughs> right. Oh. What the hell was that? Hmm. Seems like things have moved around again. Oh, this room is a mess. Wow, really what is. happened here? No music box this time. Right. Uh, do we still need to... Oh, no, we don't need to find the key this time. What the hell is this? What is that noise? Right, this is open now. And since when was that there? Right, okay, we've, we've got to go in here, surely. It just leads nowhere. Really? Oh, man, I wish I still had that flashlight. Okay. This way, then? What is going on here? Oh, okay. Wait, this is the, uh, the, the kitchen? The kitchen? <sighs> Everything's falling apart. Right, okay. Well, it's nice to see it in some proper light, I suppose. Can't see out the windows, though. How come it's so bright there and so dark over there? Right, let's see what we got. Remember. All the stuff that I have remembered is horrible. Let's see. Oh my goodness. So much rotten and moldy food in there. No keys this time. Looks like some of the dishes have been done though. <laughs> Just trying to think of the positives. Right, okay. So, the door down here, where's this going to take me? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is... This is all wrong. Right. Okay, the wall's got... Whoa, whoa. Whoa, we just saw it happen. What the hell is going on here? Is this even my house? Am I... I, I don't actually know if I'm dreaming anymore. What the fuck is this? Is that why it keeps changing? Because the rooms are actually moving around? Wait, I'm a stage builder. Did I do this? Wait, hang on. Dory's room. Okay, Dory's room is exactly where it should be. But what the fuck is this? Okay. Right. These are props. Is everything a stage? Who built this? And why? So it wasn't you? Right. Hey again, Zohan. Oh, not you too, Zohan. He's as fucked up as I am. Right. Right, okay. The ramifications of what I'm seeing are very, very interesting. If I'm right. Like, this... This seems like a set in a warehouse. Has it all been, you know, a construct for me? Right, let's see. And this is the circus. Yeah. Or maybe I'm now just seeing it for what it truly is, you know? Maybe because I haven't taken the drugs in a while, maybe I'm actually seeing what it should look like. I was just kind of filling in the gaps and making it much more fantastical before. I dread to think what this button's gonna do. Oh, Martha and Dory. Oh shit. Who would do something like this? Well, you, apparently, and... What the... 
Okay. You even constructed something to sweep them away. <laughs> oh, can we do it again? Well, here they come again. Yep, right. How many mannequins have you got, exactly? Oh, this is fucking weird. Okay, alright. This is... This is too much. This doesn't make sense that I did this. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, is that a camera? Why are there cameras in our house? Who's watching? I don't know, but I don't think it's me anymore that did this. Seems like these doors aren't working. What? What is that? What the? I can't even see the bottom. What? Okay, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Oh, okay, here we go. We're back up to the art area. I don't know what's going on. I just want to get out of here. And there's that triangle again. The further we go in the game, the more we see that triangle. Right, what about up here? Okay, it's a... It's a door now. Okay, there's lighting just outside, is that... <laughs> Honestly, Martha, was that like a guy in a suit? Oh, God. Oh, man. Where are we now? Where is this? What? Oh, wow. It looks like it's part of a giant machine. Yes, it does. But why? Is this all for me? Is this... I, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. This way? Okay. Doors and, and doorways that are just unfinished oh, and oh shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, are we not going that way then? Okay. Uh, let's see. We've Oh, okay, we're not going back either. What 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 oh, where the hell am I? <laughs> what? Nightmare? This isn't a nightmare. I think you're awake. I just don't understand, like, what's going on or why this is going on. It's the garage again. The workshop. Right. So, what, the train as well? What about the area in the forest? Oh, okay, here we go. Even Oops. the train. Yeah. Oh, man, this is such a mindfuck. I guess that's the point. Oh god, okay, well, it looks like we might be able to go through there. Maybe, okay, let's go visit the toilet, shall we? Oh, no, okay, we're not going to be visiting the toilet after all. Okay. Um... Back through the hole then, I suppose. Did I do this? I think I'm outside the house. Right. Yeah, I think you are. Is this backstage, essentially? Get okay, whoa. Okay, gotta be careful. Don't wanna get crushed. So that's another room going into place, I assume. Moving machinery, yeah, absolutely. Oh, please just let this be a way out. Cool. Okay, right. This is so crazy. Okay. Alright. How's all this? Right, are we going... Are we going under there? Oh, God. That's another room sliding into place. What I thought were, like, trains outside. Were the rooms moving around, right? Oh, wow, look at this. Okay. Holy hell. This place is huge. <laughs> How the fuck did I get here? I don't know. Why are you here, though? Why does this exist? This is crazy, right? Can we go in? No, no, it's probably just a room that I've been in before. Oh, this is bonkers. Right. Why is there a computer set up here? It seems to be on as well. Subject 7. Is that supposed to be me? This is house 2. What are they doing here? Is there a house 1? What was I doing here? I, I don't know. Right, there's some sort of error here. Circus Grand Finale, error loading sequence. Oh, shit. Right, okay. Again, the ramifications of this are just, like, fucked up. Maybe this opened oh. the door. Okay, I'm... I think I opened the facility door, but the house door I can't open. Potential escape detected. Right. It feels like there's meant to be someone here, like, watching me. Keeping an eye on me, but... I don't know where they've gone. 
Well, there's the door open. I probably should leave. Definitely can't go back in. Right. Well, why would I want to, right? It's just... It's just all fake. <laughs> oh, man. I completely understand the warning now. Oh, God. Is that blood? What are you doing out here? Put that down. Cody? Wow. Oh, what is going on with my head? I think you're remembering. Did you do this then? I mean, that voice earlier did sound a little bit like you. Seems I can't go through there. Right, so we've got the loading bay here. More of these triangles. Is that a company logo or something? Is that why it keeps showing up? Oh, they even have groceries delivered? How long was I in there? How long have I been, like, living a lie? This is fucked up. And, I mean, this is... This is costly, right? This isn't just a prank. <laughs> this is like a, a multi-million dollar operation. Looks like a workshop. Right. Okay. My sword. Yeah. The, the hilt is empty. Huh. Some basic plans of the, the house? And all the various rooms, I guess? Oh my god. Right. What else have we got around here? Another prop. Oh yeah, of course. That was a fun prop, though. I enjoyed the marble race. I think it's broken. Mm, right. There's that mask again. See, the biggest question now is why? Why, why? why was I, you know, part of this? Like in Martha's room. Right. Something in here? Various boxes in here? More paints, supplies, stuff like that. Oh, all right. Seems like we're getting led away from the house now. Right, I, I, I just need to go back to reality, you know? I need to escape this place. Someone's, like, imprisoned me here and, and scrambled my brains. These guys, right? Okay, come on. What the fuck? Registration? Oh, hell, wait. Norn? Norn Corporation. There. That has to be an exit. Well, okay, okay, but I want to learn more about this. These are the guys that have been doing it. Memories for the future. Okay. What about this? Is this working? Ah, oh, unfortunately it's not. Can't take a business card? Memories for the future. Is that all it says? Memories for the future. What does that mean? Man, okay. You know, maybe this is a way of me getting over my trauma? I, I'm not sure. Alright. An office. How many people work here? Jeez. And where are they? There are other exits. How do I get there? Why are you talking about other exits? Do you need to use other exits? What's wrong with this one? Ah, damn, locked. There has to be another way. Right. What the hell do I do now? Well, it seems like oh, I can't register. Is killing me. Uh, this is a hell of a lot to take in. I'm not surprised. Right. Is that automatic, or did someone do that? It looks like this one's running. The URD department? Okay, that's open. Right, okay, we've got various things over here. We have a calculator. Brilliant. Okay, uh, mail. Dear employees, this facility is currently under lockdown. Please stay calm and continue your work as normal. As soon as this emergency is resolved, the lockdown will be lifted. For more information, feel free to speak to your supervisor. Right. I'd love to speak to the supervisor, let me tell you. Nothing else around here? Okay. <sighs> oh god. I think he's dead. I think you might be right. Did you kill him? Who was he? It might not have been me, but it seems like I'm remembering this. Well, it said house two, right? I guess there was a house one. Maybe someone else escaped and caused the lockdown. Which is why I found my chance to escape as well. Alright, that's locked. Ah, uh, okay. Looks like we can go that way. URD. That's why I unlocked, is it? So we can't go this way into the restricted area? Oh, locked. Maybe I can unlock it from another computer. Maybe. Right, let's follow this trail of blood. This is so fucked up. <laughs> Who saw this coming? Be honest. No one, right? 
What were they doing here? I don't know. Dying, apparently. Another one. Who did hey, this? Hey, who is this guy? Oh shit, he has a gun! Wow. Wow, okay. Alright. So we've got, oh, we've got various filing cabinets here. File archive dating back 1999 to... To 2014, 2016 down there, scouting reports. Hundreds of files. Yeah. All right, here we go, here we go. We've got another working PC. A scouting report. Scouting for what? Hmm. Or whom? Wait. Subject 7 was also on the screen in front of my house, but it says Liam Kennelly. That's not my name. <sighs> What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I'm not sure, Walter. Or Liam. It might be Liam. Liam was living in a one-room apartment in Chinatown, apparently. He dropped out of school when he was 15 years old. An abusive relationship with his parents forced him to sever connections early. He joined the army very early, but records show him leaving after a few months, citing a dependency discharge. He returned home to care for his dying father, who passed away three years later. Since then, he moved again, and he's been unable to find stable work. He's holding himself afloat with various small jobs. There's social connections, emotional attachments, physical ability here. Liam Kennelly appears to be an ideal candidate for the memory replacement experiment. The subject's uneventful life reduces the risk of memory remnants. His history of financial struggles and lack of motivation suggests a beneficial state of mind for the procedure. The subject's cognitive function and physical ability are sufficient to undergo the procedure. Right, so... If... <laughs> if this is me, did I willingly do it? If I did, I don't remember doing it. It looks like there's various other things here. Right, okay, hold on. Door controls to start with. Ah, okay. Okay, we've got partial access there, but we've opened the skull department as well. Um, so, get rid of this, get rid of this. That was Liam Kennelly. What about Alyssa Baker? Okay, a 29-year-old software engineer with a master's degree in computer science, high income. Alyssa Baker is a successful software engineer, having earned a master's degree in computer science. She's married with two children and lives in a comfortable suburban home. Records show that she has no criminal history, and her social media activity indicates a relatively stable and happy personal life. So again, the social, emotional, physical, and motivation stuff. Based on the information gathered, Alyssa Baker may not be an ideal candidate for memory imprinting. Her strong emotional attachments to her family may increase the risk of memory remnants, and her stable personal and professional life indicate further attachments that could increase the risk factor of her invitation. What else have we got? Clint Edwards? Same kind of thing. Okay, an unemployed high school graduate? Shared apartment in downtown area? Let's see how he was assessed. Clint Edwards appears to be a suitable candidate as well. Right, and then there's... Right. Oh, this is... this is my log, I think. Subject woke up and seemingly had a bad dream. Details of the dream are unclear. No sign that this is connected to a memory remnant. Subject behaves strangely around a connecting corridor. Maintenance team is looking into it after the shift. Subconscious breakthrough should have taken place, but subject exhibits less signs than usual at this stage of the cycle. Subject's strange behavior continued. Early termination of this cycle is recommended. Right, okay, so that's... That's all that. What about the mail? Okay. Right, let's, let's start at this one. Okay, that's the automated lockdown. Potential subject list. Right. You still haven't sent me the report about the potential subject you told me about. Would really appreciate it if you could manage it this week. We're running pretty dry over here. By the way, everything all right over there? I heard some rumors that your facility had some kind of lockdown. Management told us to leave that topic open. Well... I hope it's not too busy over there, so you can send me that report as soon as possible. Okay, so how, how many how many facilities do Norn have? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, all right. So what did I open? The Scald area. We need to go to the Scald area. I think. Is that the one straight ahead? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Okay. There's more blood here and more bodies too. Is this because of me as well? Gunshot wounds. Right. Unfortunately, we don't have a working PC here. We have a server room, though. What do they do with all this data? I dread to think. I dread to think. But yeah, this isn't a small-time operation, is it? Okay, around here. Oh, God. 
Another dead body. A working PC, though. There are others. Right. How many houses? What? Really? Oh my god. Right, so at least six houses. Wait, eight? Eight houses. Everyone's deceased but me. Holy shit. Oh, that doesn't look good for him. No. But what about me? This must be me. Yeah. So, <laughs> I've been calling him Walter the entire time. It's Liam, isn't it? Oh, there it is again. Right. Subject 7. Yeah. Liam Kennelly. Contained. Not anymore. Right, okay. So, door controls, probably the most important thing. Verd exit clearance. Again, we get partial access. But now I can access the Verd department. Right, I think I just heard another door opening. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so the automated lockdown. Okay, let's start here. Hey, Pete. I know I asked this already, but can you please take over my pizza delivery shift this month? I hate direct contact with the subjects, and I really hate filling out the forms after. I'll cover for anything else you want this year and grab your coffee every day. How does that sound? Scott. What, like the pizza that I had in the kitchen? I guess one of these guys delivered it. Impersonating a pizza delivery guy. Right. Hey, Peter. I just wanted to let you know that I just came back from updating some data on House 2 and found Hannah was not on her post. She even left her fucking gun on the desk. I think she was getting coffee or something. God knows what would happen if one of those drugged up subjects would get out and there was a fucking gun just lying there. You really need to talk to her. If I see something like this again, I'll need to file a report. I know you guys are close, so just fucking talk to her. Holy shit. So that's the subject register. Right. There's various logs. This one's about me. Subject seems to remember arguments with Martha. The subconscious breakthrough began earlier than expected. New memory stage rooms seem to have the desired effect. Subject noticed the mess in the bedroom. Subject's perception seems to shift to slowly reveal our intended room setups. First concrete perception breakthrough seems to have been in the bathroom. Requires further investigation, but this seemed to coincide with the last cycle. Subject could not be observed for roughly two minutes while searching Martha's room. Seemed to search for something in a corner of the room. Was that when I was looking for the... the orbs? Maybe. And we've got stuff on Mary here as well. Experiencing vivid dreams. It's having a, an adverse effect on her mind. Subject 14 here. Subject shows signs of restlessness and agitation. Subject was declared deceased. Holy shit. How long? How long until I met the same fate? Wow. Right, okay. This is fucked up. We can we can open this? Oh, there's just so much to go through. I don't know where to begin. If I can find my own file though, that might be interesting. Right, okay, we did unlock another area, didn't we? So let's get back round there and maybe again. Let's see if we can unlock the exit door. We've got partial access from a couple of places now. Maybe three's the magic number. That place, right? Yes, okay, I think, yeah, we need we need three green lights. I guess we're going to find the other one in Verd. the hell is this? Oh, another dead body down there. Any comments? What's all this? Wait in secret. Wait in secret. Yeah. So this has all been meticulously planned out. What's this one? The dark at sea? The dark at sea. Are these all just, like, various scenarios, then? What's this one? Leave war behind. Leave war behind. Okay. Oh, oh. This is my one. The circus. Death in the circus. Death in the circus. Subject 7. So it was all a, a construct. It was None of it was real. None of it was real, right? Martha, Dory, they're all just false memories imprinted onto my own? Right, so there's like different workstations for each of these projects. This would be this would be for the death in the circus. This is <laughs> this is some of what we've experienced, I suppose. Oh, there's gotta be some stuff around here that I can take a look at, right? More bodies. How many people died in here? Quite a few by the looks of it. Right, okay. Direct access memory storage device? Okay. What else have we got around here? Discs. 
all locked away. These discs? Right. So, right. Let's have a look. Fabricated memories. Everything is staged? Martha and Dory aren't real? No. We they can just put all these fake memories into my head? Yeah. I can't believe this. Oh, oh, what is going on with my head? Well, you can read about it here. It seems like you've got new memories and your old memories were archived. Probably in, you know, something like this, right? Okay, let's go back to it. <laughs> this is crazy. The memory replacement procedure was successful in implanting artificial memories into the subject's mind. Further observations seem to indicate suppression of parts of the fabricated memory, but no sign of the existence of old memories. Subject's perception is altered in order to support the suppression of those memories. So they were making sure that I didn't remember my old life. Oh wow, look at all this. Hello, Miss Rodriguez. I have a modification request for the death of the circus memory, currently in use with Subject 7. Because of the special circumstances with this subject, we want to take every possible measure to increase the memory compatibility. We'd like to give the Martha character Chinese roots. Additional background research has shown this may fit better for the intended time period and the circus setting. Furthermore, we can reasonably assume that this will feel more familiar for the subject according to his last place of residence. We expect that this will increase memory stability by at least 5%, but be ready to make additional changes in a timely manner if needed. Additional story details are up to you and your team, as always. Please prepare everything as soon as possible. We want the modified disc ready for the next cycle. Missing texts for Subject 7. The subject just read out loud more Lorem Ipsum text. <laughs> oh god, this is fucking meta, really. Okay, urgent memory commission. Right. So it wasn't going exactly as they intended, so they had to adjust as I adjusted, I suppose. Does the weekend still stand? They booked a hotel. What the hell? There's the automated lockdown. Everything all right? After you didn't show up, I tried to reach you. Well, <laughs> I think they were dead. Holy moly. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, door controls again? Ah, there you go. I think because I've used this three times now, the hub exit is actually open. Right, let's get out of here. I keep wondering when I'm going to bump into someone that's still alive, you know? Whether it be another subject or, or someone that actually works here that I didn't finish off. All these scenarios. I mean, hey, these are, these are potential sequels to the game, right? <laughs> I mean, we know the twist now, so it wouldn't be quite as effective, but it might still be fun to play through. Right, through to the restricted area. Here we go. Is this going to lead to the exit? It's going to lead to me getting locked in. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Okay. Sounds like more wearing machinery in there. We can't go in there. Just too many beds. Okay. I've seen these before. I think. Right. Five. Six. Oh, seven. We're looking for seven, I suppose. Three. Three's open. There's a red button there. And oh. Oh, oh my head. My oh, head. Oh. 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 Shit. It's all just too much to take in. What is this? Oh, oh, I, I've seen this. I've seen this in red, anyway. That was part of the nightmare. And I guess that was kind of a nightmare. Wait, so... Kennedy, your rent is laid again. You don't pay up till the end of the week. You better have your things already packed up. Let's check. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Yeah, that's it. I'm I'm Liam. There is no Walter. Oh, I'm broke anyway. No point in going out. Right. Oh, finally. Lights that actually work. I can't believe it. So this is this is the motel, isn't it? That's the sign just out there. Yes, okay. So we were seeing glimpses of reality. Oh, I'm not sure how long I'll stay here. Well, I don't need most of it anyway. No? Right. Let's see, what else we got around here? Oh? I found this yesterday in front of my door. Okay. 
Oh. Can you find us? Oh. A thousand dollars for every participant. Well, I'm still not sure if this is some kind of joke, but man, the money would be nice. Is this how they got him? All right. Uh, looks like some kind of puzzle box. Shouldn't be too hard for me. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, sure. I, I guess you complete it, which is how you got yourself into the situation to begin with. What we got here? Something flat needs to be inserted here. Something on the bottom as well? I need something like a key here. Okay. It seems stuck. Hmm. All right. What about these? Okay. All right. Well, that sounded like something happened. Okay. If I can just get my finger there, can I... Oh, there we go. Ooh. A translucent disc with some kind of symbol in the middle. Okay. I guess I'm going to take that. What have we got up here? These dials. We can twist them around. I can see a piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Hmm. If I had some tweezers, I could probably get them out. Right. So are these for discs? So, yeah, use translucent disc too. I guess there's going to be three of them. Yeah, okay. So... It seems stuck. It seems stuck. Still it stuck. Seems stuck. Hmm. Fair enough. Right, so... We've got one here. And that's a triangle. Three's a circle? That makes sense. Okay, so we, we can drag this one down. If we can get it. There we go. Yeah. Two's a circle as well. I guess there's going to be something underneath that if I get that open right. That's a triangle. Whichever one that is. Okay, that's going to be... Okay, so five. Five is like an hourglass. A little bit fiddly to do this, but there you go. Right, so we just need to figure out these two, really. Okay. Oh! Was that it? Did I get it? Oh, I got it! I got it! And I got another disc! This is the third one! Right, where- <laughs> I feel like I need to get the first one. Probably should have got that to start with. I guess it's probably something to do Seems with this, stuck. but it's stuck. Right, so hold on. Right, so- yeah. Oh, really? The the third one actually goes in the top here. Not what I was expecting, but fair enough, fair enough. There's a strange oh. key hidden in there. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Right, that's probably going to go there then? Okay. All right. Ah. Wait, so what's this? First, I need to put in some batteries. Oh, batteries. The batteries are missing. I can see that. Yeah, we're uh we're missing those. Hmm. What if it was like that? Oh, that sounded like something. Yeah, happened. okay, so it's just the circled ones that need to be pressed in. In there, there you go. Right, that was that was the four reveal. And I've got that last disc as well. So let's go put that in. Okay. Oh man, alright, so it's gonna be the, the norm symbol, isn't it? The triangle. The triangle that we've been seeing the entire time. So it's Hmm, okay. Don't know exactly where this is going to be. It might be something like that. That's it. That's it right there. When you look at it like that, anyway. Hmm. We need to find batteries, do we? Okay. Can I just leave this and come back to it later? Because I don't think there's going to be batteries here. Okay. All right. Uh, I could pawn it off, but it's the last thing I have left of him. One of those orbs had a watch inside it, didn't it? It must have been this watch. I was remembering it. Hmm. I forgot to finish this. <laughs> It'll have to wait. I guess so. Oh, hang on. Is that? Oh, there's a battery there. Battery. Right. Maybe it's not empty. Oh, let's hope it's not. Uh, I guess I'll have to find a job where I don't need a car. Right. Mm, yeah, life doesn't seem to be treating him too well, unfortunately. Okay, well, there you go. Right. So, let's get that over there. 
Right. First, I need oh, to put in some batteries. batteries. There's another slot down there, unfortunately. Right, I need to find another battery. Well, let's see. Mm hmm. What's this? Okay. Liam, I'm sorry. You're a nice guy, but I can't with you living like this. I thought this would somehow work out, but I was wrong. If you want to let other people in your life, you need to change something. But I think you know that. Please don't call or show up here. Sarah. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, wouldn't have worked out anyway. Is there a battery in the oven? Have I been cooking batteries? I don't, <laughs> I don't think so, no. Alright, what about the uh, cupboard, the drawer here? Wait, dog tags. I wonder what life would have been like if I had stayed in the army. Oh man. Well, probably better than living like this. Oh man, there was so much foreshadowing I just didn't understand. Right. Right, okay, there you go. Again, we saw that in the orb, I believe. What about down here? Mm, oh! Another battery. It's another battery. There you go, there you go, okay. Right. So, rotate that. In that goes. That comes down. Okay, so, oh, that's the light. Okay. Oh. Ah. Something came out of the cube. That little bit of paper? It's ringing. Must be a hint. Penrose Street. Wait, that's right around the corner. Should be easy to find. Right. Do you want to find it, though? Probably not. Not in hindsight, anyway. But I think you're going to. Okay, a strange ticket. Well, if I'm going to find it, I've got to leave, right? Oh, here we go. Guess I'll go look for another hint. Right. Uh, what am I even doing? You're going to explore an area that we've explored before, aren't you? The Chinatown area. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love this chapter. I absolutely love it. It's such a mindfuck. What did it say on it? It's ringing? It's the phone, isn't it? I should just look for another job. What am I even doing? Yeah. It's probably some kind of scam, right? Mm, something like that, yeah. Much, much worse than your usual scam, though. Okay. We're not going to water food. We're gonna go through... We're gonna go through the laundromat, aren't we? Maybe I'll find something in that back alley. Yeah. Maybe. Around here to the right. That's it. It's weird that there's no one here. No one's stopping me. Where was it? It was just... It was round here to the right, wasn't it? Oh, is that a phone ringing? That's it. That must be it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's a call you want to take, though. I guess this time... Yeah, this time we're going to have to open it ourselves. Right. A phone booth? That's new. Yeah. What now, Liam? Okay. Well, it seems like we're going to have to dial a number. Um, hourglass, crown, crescent moon. It looks like crown's one. Hold on. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Hey there. Oh, okay. The crescent moon is eight. And the hourglass is seven. So what is it? Seven... Seven, one, eight? Seven. Yeah. One. And eight. Eight. Oh? Easy. Okay. This is slowly getting interesting. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Oh, and I'm trapped now. Now I've opened this door, I can't go back. Oh, there's that camera. Okay, this way. Uh, of course, I'm not using the exit. Nice base. Sounds like my kind of nightclub. Remember the funhouse chapter? <laughs> Remember the lift, the elevator? Remember how it looked like the fires of hell? And the brick- oh, man. Oh, this is brilliant. After this, I think what I'm going to have to do is play through the entire game again and look for these references. Now I and now I think I'd understand them so much more. All right. Oh, shit, no cells here. Are these old prison cells? Yeah. They don't lock me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hope not. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, 
we saw that as well on the train ride, didn't we? This is even more creepy. They're all cutouts. There's no one actually here. They're all just standees. That's why the service is so poor. Jesus Christ. Okay. This way? Yeah, I don't know. This isn't really a party that I want to join in with, honestly. Where are you going? I wish I knew! I can't go to the ladies. The men's, though? Okay. Right. This door looks a bit out of place. Yeah, you could say that. What's this? Oh, that's for the card! Oh, right. Okay. What? Oh, wait, no, I, I this is where Whoa. I was! What is this place? To Norton, please oh, wow! Chamber three. Right. Well, that's where I was when I, when I fainted. I was so close to the exit! Do I have to? I, uh, I guess I do, right? Fuck. What is this? More puzzles? Maybe? Well, we're gonna take a look. I mean, we've come this far, I suppose. Just one? one last test. Yeah, one last okay. test. Start the timer. Okay. Interesting. It seems to have multiple segments. It's one of those I orbs. Press the button first. Press the button to start. Right. Thank you. Whoever the hell you are. <laughs> Wonderful. That was a mistake. Oh, look at all the soundproofing. Oh shit. Right, we got. Shit. We, okay, we need to do this in 20 seconds? What the... Oh, God. Am I being gassed now, or...? What the fuck is this? Oh. Shit. Oh, man. So, I don't get to complete the puzzle? I was actually looking forward to that. Oh, this can't be real. My name really is Liam Kennelly. Yep. That was my life? Apparently. I can't believe this. Dory, Martha, you're not real. Right. Okay. That's the exit. That'll lead to the toilet, right? Another dead body, though. And this seems like a, a one-way kind of door. There's no lever. There's no scanner. Shit, okay. Well, there's got to be another way out of here, right? But what about other people? Come on. D oh, oh. Wait, he's dead too? So it's just me left? Oh. Right, we got to get out of here. This way? Just back the way I came? Oh. Oh, we can go this way now. This is different. Right. Just another puzzle to lure me in. There's no use solving it now. Oh, are you sure? Looks like a fun one. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got bigger fish to fry right now. Okay. Oh, these machines. Right. No turning back now. I'll get to the bottom of this. Is that how they implanted the memories? I was in one of those things? I guess the power is out. Yeah. Guess so. Oh yeah, here we go. Power failure. Power capacitor missing. Alright. I should try to turn the power on. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's got nothing to do with it. What was that? Here? I should try to turn the power yep, on. Yep, okay, right. I'm just looking for a, a, a... What was it? A power capacitor? A power capacitor, yes. Something over there? Is that a lever? It's quite dark. I don't know. That might be a fucking soap dispenser. Look at all this. And look at all these houses! I should try to turn the power on. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Right, hold on. Let's go towards a flashing light. Can we get this open? We can. Okay. Well, that must be the generator. This? Oh, but it's not working. Ah, uh, hang on. Uh, one of these things is broken. Okay. Now I just need to find a replacement. 
<laughs> right. Okay, so it's not a fuse. It's a power capacitor that we need now. Different. We've got various lockers here. Are these spares? Uh, I think they are, but I don't think they're going to work, are they? Okay. Um, so we're just going to be sort of scrambling around searching in the darkness for one of these? Looks like there's a desk under there as well. It's a really big area here. And yeah, you get a view of all the houses. This must be the, the center of the facility. Generator, generator two. There's a door here. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Mm, this one seems broken. Also broken. Right. You got any others? There's loads. Oh, another broken one. Are they all broken? Nope. Useless. Oh, come on. Oh, they're all broken. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one's green. Hey. Oh, this one looks good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Right, so that's what we need to get the power back on? Various lockers over here. Maybe, maybe I should come back and explore when I've got the power back on. Right, so up and through here. And across to the other side. Let's just see if we can slot this in. I think everyone's dead at this point. I don't think anyone's here to stop me. Oh, perfect. Yeah? Hey! There we go, we got lights! Wow, okay. Alright, so can we open any of these lockers? No? That's not on, we can't power that on? No, okay. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Right, okay, well this seems to be powered up, or at least the lights are on in here. Okay, so let's see. A power reboot required. Well, reboot then. Wow. What the... Did I use this machine before? What the hell did I do? Oh, there's an exit over there. Right, right. Okay, well, we should probably head over there, shouldn't we? Why would I touch that again? I just need to get out of here. Okay, I, I'm just a bit curious. I just need to get out of here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fair enough. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. But honestly, I want to have a little this look around. One feels sinister. Because it is. is this oh, wow. Where they messed with my head. Ooh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was right here. Is this the machine? Yeah. That's what you saw on the ghost train. And this deviation of the symbol. Like scissors. <laughs> Cutting out the memories and implanting new ones. Right. Locked. It looks like I need an ID card to get out of here. Oh, right. So you, you can't leave? Is that what you're telling me? So maybe I had the right idea. You know? Having a look around. <laughs> Fuck you, Walter slash Liam. Oh, it's Liam, really, isn't it? Oh. This looks almost exactly like the cube I received. Just a different color. Just a just a test for the participant, I suppose. If they passed, they got lured over here. Lucky them. I don't think there's anything else here. And the lockers are sort of blocking the way into the rest of the room. Files, boxes. More networking equipment, servers and stuff. Okay, a working PC. Here we go. Right, mail. What we got then? First success. Okay, hold on. Okay. Dear Miss Northwood, I am proud to notify you that my team and I have successfully imprinted our first test memory. The volunteer remembered our control numbers when asked, without ever being told them. The procedure went without incident, and his vitals are in the expected ranges. He is as eager as we are to continue with further tests. As far as we know, we are the first in the world to actually alter human memory with desired data. We obviously have a long way to go, but the implications are incredible. I can't even begin to imagine how much this will change the medical landscape. Theoretically, we could find ways to treat most neurocognitive disorders. This technology could even be used therapeutically. We'll continue right away and could schedule the next advanced tests as early as next week. You will receive a detailed report in the following days. To our great future, Dr. Ian Keller. We've seen that name a few times now. Excellent news. Yeah. Right. An employee resignation request. Mr. Martin, 
I'm not sure if you're the right person to talk to. Brandon Lee, a member of my research team, was overheard making remarks about quitting. It seems to have to do with his family. I made sure to brief my team about the company policies regarding early resignation, but I have to stress that Brandon is a very reliable worker and an important part of the team. Because of this, I'm unsure how to proceed. We will take care of it, they reply ominously. Oh boy. Dr. Keller. I hope this email finds you well. I have excellent news for the project. I just had a meeting with someone very high up in the government. I can't disclose their identity, but they expressed a special interest for certain applications of our project. With their support, we would secure all the funding we would ever need. They may also be able to introduce me to a military contact. But for all of this to work out, we need to finally take the last step. They want confirmed trials outside the facility. A subject has already been procured and detailed documentation is on its way to you. Please get everything else underway so that we can proceed with the trial as soon as possible. If we manage this, the impact to the political world we could have would be unimaginable. Notify me as soon as everything's ready. And it's Northwood again. And again. The lockdown notice. Okay, there's nothing else around here. Nothing else. Right. Oh, death of last subject. Subjects two and three. Uh, brain hemorrhage. Ooh. Old memories resurfacing. Severe headaches. Inflamed brain tissue. Memory imprinting risks. Dear. Uh, resetting imprinted memories. Blocking the original memories again. Uh, countermeasures. Uh, initiate the next cycle. Yeah. Uh, further research required. Dr. Ian Keller. Some of that sounds awfully familiar. And I do mean awfully familiar. Oh, shit. Does this mean I have to use this machine to fix myself? <laughs> I don't have time for further research. I just have to try it. Are you serious? I don't know if this is the best course of action. An ID card from one of the researchers. Oh, right. Oh, this could be my ticket out of here. Okay. Oh. You all right? Oh, my head. Focus. Okay, we're gonna take this. Okay, that that's the key card that's gonna get us out of here, but maybe we need to use the machine? Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Well, let's just let's just go and see if the, the key card's gonna work. I must use the machine to fix my oh, head God. or I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> so how is this gonna work? Am I gonna have to strap myself in? Do I can't operate everything, you know, while I'm there. Can we do anything here? There's various buttons, one, two, and three. A little <laughs> a little bit like the mannequin, again. It's like foreshadowing. It's like I've seen all these details and they manifested in my strange fake memories. Right. There's definitely nothing I can do up here because there was a few things I could have a look at, but then he didn't want to, right? Like this. A disk drive. Yeah, here we go. That's what we saw locked away in the cabinet, right? Oh. I need the password. Right. So we're looking for a password. Oh, here we go. Now I can access some of this. Mm, nothing in here? No? What's this? Oh. Oh, the, the de-imprinting unit? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're definitely taking that, aren't we? Usage requires clearance from... Upper management, I think that says. I can't really read the rest of it, but... De-imprinting. Yeah. Oh, this might be what I need. It, it might be! So... Alright, oh, right, 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 hold on, hold on! Okay, that's memory disk two. Oh, which one would I use? Well, I suppose I'd want the de-imprinting disk, wouldn't I? Oh, I hope I know what I'm doing. That would just be another fake memory. The other disk. Right, but I, I still need some sort of password, right? Some sort of clearance code. That's gonna be around here somewhere. What's this? Vedan Vedandi? Okay, we found the password, I think. Hold on. What am I doing here? <laughs> I don't know, man! Select subject. Liam Kennelly, that's me. Subject seven. Set up procedure? What now? Oh god. Right. I think I need to set up these modules. Uh-huh. Probably. So, I can't do it from here? Where are the modules exactly? Yeah, 
it's interesting that we can choose the disc. I don't know if there's going to be, like, multiple endings to this game. Very curious. But the de-imprinting one, that seems like the best bet, honestly. Right, there's another station over there. We haven't had a look at this, have we? Okay. Oh, that's, that's what I'm seeing up there. Oh, wow. Did I kill all these people? I really did all of this. I think so. Making me believe I murdered my family is bad enough. But I killed all those people in here. They were real. Subject 7 has thus far exceeded all our expectations. The rate at which memory remnants are observed in him is high, explaining his high cycle count, but his resiliency to their side effects is unprecedented. Typically, our subjects last fewer than eight hours after memory remnants occur, which has forced us to greatly increase our observation efforts and security. Even after this, our failure rate for most subjects is still quite high. Subject 7 suffers the same side effects, such as headaches and dizziness, but his condition progresses much more slowly. In several cases, we only noticed after reviewing footage that a memory remnant even occurred. The side effects were so minor that it took days for them to become apparent. We believe it would still be fatal for him in the end, but this increased resiliency makes him a very special subject indeed. It may allow us to test our most unstable or dangerous memories much more safely than with other subjects. We still must be careful to only initiate new cycles as needed, as we can't risk losing him. That said, noticing the occurrence of a memory remnant seems much more problematic for him. We'll request new funding for special safeguards, right. So I was the golden boy in this. I was the special one. What else have we got? Oh. Uh, okay, is this the stuff that I was taking? Oh, I'm taking that again, okay. Uh, yeah, try and say that. Oh, have we got to pick one? Oh, I, <laughs> I'm spoiled for choice. Uh, this is probably all bad though, right? Oh my goodness, just, just stop picking stuff up, please. Oh, here we go. Modules, modules, yes, yes, yes. What? Oh, it's lots. Wait, hold on. What do we need? Module two, three, five, and six. Module. Oh, this is rack two. Module two. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, it's it's buried inside here. Oh, okay. I'm not sure I know what to do here. Uh. Align them all. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Everything seems to be smoothed out. Oh God, this is oh this is bad. Oh. Okay, it, it, it you know it's bad for my head, but I think this is actually good. I think I've actually got that set up. Right, module three then. Module three. Here we go. Right, what do I need to do here? Another little mini game. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. We just need to reach that line, I assume. One more. A little bit too far. Way too far. Okay, there is going to be. Oh, it's there you go. Worse. Oh. oh man. Okay, I I need to do this quickly. I don't know if I'm going to survive too much longer without you know some memory modification. Five and six then. So there's five. And wait. Module five. Oh, here we go. It's actually something I have to slide out here. What the fuck? Uh. Oh, that's it. We just need to. We just need to point it up. Okay. Seems like a lot of busy work to me. But hey, it <laughs> seems to be setting something up right. There you go. Oh, oh, I really think I need to hurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you probably do as well. Right, I think this is the last one that we need to have a look at. Right. Power. Reset. Power set six. Okay. Reset. Oh, wait. Are we just trying to time it? Ah, there we go. Reset. There we go. Reset again. Oh, Got it. Got it. Oh, please let this fucking work. Oh. <laughs> so it's all working? It's all working. Waiting, waiting for operator. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to be doing it here. Okay, back up to the the central console over here. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I didn't think when I started this game I'd be doing anything like this. 
It's really subverted my expectations in an amazing way. Start process, right. So, this will leave only my original memory intact? Maybe? I guess I've got nothing left to lose. Right. I've got the right disc in, I think. Is this the machine? Oh my god, right. Well, I think I need to go in there. Oh my goodness. Looks like I'm going to get abducted into it, honestly. Right, so this is the world's largest fleshlight, and I'm going to go right into it. <sighs> uh-huh. Yeah, there it is. There's the disc. Jeez. Oh. Is something happening? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's the beginning, isn't it? Oh, again, I've got I've got more context for this. This is me losing the memories of it. That's exactly it. All the fragments are fading away. I'm so sorry, Martha and Dory. You may not be real, but I am. I'm not sure why, but I want my own life back. Yeah. Because it's yours. Ooh. At the beginning, I suppose it was the opposite, wasn't it? I had just gone on my rampage, but instead of wanting my old life back, I wanted the fake life back, so I was reintegrating those memories into my own. Come on, say something. I didn't scramble your brains, did I? Oh, okay. Well, I can stand. I'm getting out of the machine. Oh. <laughs> it feels weird. I know I just removed the fake memories, but I can't remember anything about them. Right. But what now? Oh, I still killed all these people. Well, yeah. But honestly, they kind of had it coming for doing what they did to you, in a way. Maybe not all of them, but yeah, people needed to pay. Okay, so we're getting out of here now? Uh-huh. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay. Was I through here as well? I... Maybe someone that I shot at ran up here trying to escape. I'm gonna I'm gonna trip over a body in a sec. Holy moly, right. Well, I don't seem to be getting the headaches anymore, so I guess the procedure was a success, right? Exit. <laughs> I've seen that before. Can it be believed? Right. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on, we've spent far too long living a lie. Okay. Okay. Back out into Chinatown? Back out into the alley? Ugh, let me just get out of here and hope they leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> right. Probably too much to ask. Yeah. But I won't make it easy for them again. Yeah, no solving puzzle boxes, alright? And there you go, that was that. That was Reveal, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Did you enjoy this as much as I did? Because I enjoyed this a hell of a lot. I was enjoying it until the revelation, but the revelation for me was the cherry on top. That was something I was not expecting at all. It subverted my expectations brilliantly. And I was... I suppose a little bit disappointed that the story seemed to be going into the, you know, the psychological horror trope of me being a bad dad, you know, I was being punished for my decisions based on what I did in the past to my family, and that was partially true, but I wasn't expecting that was all fake. I wasn't expecting that was a construct. I wasn't expecting that my life was a lie. And the way that it foreshadowed it, with the little nods here and there in the earlier chapters of what I was going to see in chapter 5 were brilliant, honestly. 
and the way I explored the house as it was moving around, the way it was all revealed, the way how I was solving the puzzle box and it led me to the facility and got me in prison there. Absolutely loved it. Chapter 5 made the game for me and I was enjoying it up until chapter 5, but chapter 5 is is really, really special. I really hope that anyone that actually did have the intention of playing this game played it before watching this chapter, because I hope I didn't spoil it for you, you know? Man, what a game! What a game. I love the way it looked, I love the way it sounded, I like the story, both the fictional one and the real one. I think if I was going to nitpick, you know, I I'd want chapter 3 and 4 to be a little bit longer, because it felt like we got to chapter 5 far too quickly, but yeah. Honestly, I love this, and I hope you did too. Before I go, I was curious, so I went back to replay through Chapter 5, and I actually kept the disc in that was already in there, the Death in the Circus disc. I went through the procedure, I fixed a few more modules, and then got in the machine. And this is what happened. Here we are again. But it's reality that's fading away this time. There's nothing left here for me. I just want to forget everything again. I just want one more moment where I think everything is fine. But how long is that moment going to last? No one's around to feed you. I yeah, this isn't this isn't good. There we are, again, we're waking up in the bedroom. Like, none of Chapter 5 ever happened, I assume. Oh, oh my head. Oh, I feel like I had a bad nightmare. Oh, but I can't remember. Hmm. Okay, here we are again. <laughs> right. I, I can't, I can't leave the bed, I've got to take the pills. Yeah, Walter Thompson. That's who I am. What time is it? Oh, I should check if Martha and Dory are still up. <laughs> oh. Ah! oh. No, 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 no! Is that a wall? <laughs> okay, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, the wall's got. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, we just saw it happen. Doors and, and doorways that are just unfinished oh, and oh shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this place is huge. <laughs> Circus grand finale, error loading sequence. Oh shit, right, okay. What were they doing here? I don't know. Dying, apparently. Oh, oh, I, I've seen this. I've seen this in red. Dog tags. I wonder what life would have been like if I had stayed in the army. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Cells here. Are these old prison cells? Yep. Something will lock me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hope not. So, I don't get to complete the puzzle? I was actually looking forward to that. Okay, back up to the, the central console over here. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I didn't think when I started this game I'd be doing anything like this. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's the beginning, isn't it? Come on, say something. I didn't scramble your brains, did I? 